friends. <laughs> Today is the day after Valentine's Day. Hope you guys had a good day no matter how you celebrated it. Um, I did absolutely nothing all day. In fact, I just barely showered and got ready this morning. Yeah, I did nothing all day. In fact, I took a nice nap on the couch after I edited and then took Ashley to cheer. I did walk. I did walk for six miles, so that was a good thing. And then during the day, I came home. Well, in the middle of the day, I had the idea to like put these little candies out that I got the girls um, in this little basket thing here. Um, you, you just saw something on the counter I'm going to talk about. One, I agreed with Jason. We aren't doing anything big for Valentine's Day. I don't like wasting money on flowers. I do like to recognize the holiday. I don't mind putting out little candies or whatever for the kids, um, but I'm not going to do big, huge bags and spend a lot of money and whatnot. I mainly did the treats for the kids because the older ones don't have Valentine bags at school because they're just older. Ashley's the only one. So I also didn't want to like just make three baggies of candy and leave Ashley out but she did come home with quite a bit of candy you know that's why I just put it all into one little container out here on the counter everyone can nibble on it static cling I can't throw this plastic away it won't unstick from I literally can't I can't throw it away <laughs> I can't let go of it come on stick to something else now it's on the floor oh well I don't even care and also I need Abby to sweep her floors this pile right there is proof she didn't sweep yesterday because I can't stand all the crumbs getting on my socks during the day. So when she comes home from school in five to 10 minutes, I'm having her sweep. Okay, so going back to my Valentine's Day. I wasn't necessarily like moody, like, oh, he didn't get me flowers. Because remember, I didn't tell him to give me flowers. I told him not to. So, ah, I can't stand everything on my socks. Um, I'm sorry, I'm very distracted right now. I should put the camera down. But you guys like to see my real <laughs> reactions to life. Okay, so um, Jason did, he's not good with surprises. He tries, he tries very hard. He did say he had a surprise for me two days ago. He's like, I have a surprise for you. And I was like, okay, just surprise me with it. I, and then he was like, well, and I was like, do I need to be ready for something? Like, do I need to be dressed with makeup on? And he's like, no. And I was like, well, then I'm gonna go walking with Ashley at the gym. Can I come home sweaty? Or do I need to shower? Are we going somewhere? Like, I'm, there's a point to like being able to surprise someone and then they need to be prepared too. And he was like, nope, you don't need to be prepared at all. Just be hungry. And I was like, there it gives away. But I get it. Like, he needed to tell me to be hungry and not make dinner. So. I knew that was, you know, I didn't have to plan dinner last night. Not that I planned dinner any night. <laughs> it's not my world. So I went to leave to come home after walking. And I was talking to some friends that their daughter does cheer with Ashley. They're, they're just really young. They're only seven. So they're just in like a couple of the squads. So I was kind of talking to them and I was like, well, maybe I should stop talking to them. I'm having a good time, but maybe I should stop talking to them because Jason and I knew he was already on his way home from work and I didn't want to not be home when he got home for whatever his surprise was. And so I just glanced at his location and he doesn't, he, his phone hasn't been able to figure out his lo like turn my location on. So he can't see any of our locations. Like he gets really annoyed when he can't see Kaylee and Abby and he can't see me, but he can I can see him. Like we can all see each other in the Tesla app. And so I just glanced at it. I'm like, okay, where is he at on the way home? And so at, like at what point I saw him, he was slowly going through traffic. I could see the little arrows like moving really slow. And I'm like, oh, he's stuck in traffic. I have a few more minutes to talk to my friends. So I did that and then I glanced at the app one more time. <laughs> I shouldn't have looked again, but I was just looking to see how much time I had. And he was in the Cafe Rio a parking lot. And I was like, well, I just ruined my own surprise. I ruined the surprise. He'll watch this later. I did ruin it. He knows. He knows that I looked. I didn't look to find out where he would be. I looked to see if he was almost home. So I knew he was getting me Cafe Rio and I knew I only had one Coke still at home. <laughs> So I pull into McDonald's on my way home from walking. Ashley still had two hours of cheer, so we have plenty of time. And I go to get myself a Coke. And he texted me and he's like, so do you need a Coke? And I was like, do you know where I'm at right now? And he was like, do you need a Coke? And I'm like, I, I know you can see where I'm at. I'm getting my Coke. And I know, I didn't say then, but I'm like, I know what you're getting me for dinner and I want a Coke to go with that. Certain foods need certain things. And the Cafe Rio, it needs a Coke. So I was like, I'll be home soon. And I knew he was just behind me. <laughs> 
So I come home, he has the Cafe Rio, and he was like, hold on just a minute, I have something to set up. And so he goes upstairs, and I'm thinking he's just changing, he's gonna come down here to set it up. So I go to the bathroom, go into the laundry room, kind of distracting myself and getting out of the way, and I come out here and there's like nothing set up. And I was like, where's my food? <laughs> Because at this point, I'm kind of getting hungry. And he's like, come on upstairs. And I was like, he set up a picnic upstairs in our bedroom at the TV that doesn't have cable. <laughs> no. I was like, honey, did you set up our dinner at the TV upstairs in our bedroom where I can't watch my cable show? Battery died. Sorry. Anyway, from upstairs, he was like, uh, yeah, I did. I did set up a picnic. <laughs> I could hear Kaylee and Jacob chuckle and I'm like, oh, they knew I wouldn't want that. And I was like, yeah, I don't, I don't really want to watch upstairs. I don't really want to eat in my bedroom. I don't like eating in my bedroom. I like to go to bed I, and I intentionally do that because it's avoiding snack time at night. And if I'm down on the couch watching a show, I like to snack. And so in order to like break my brain from that, I go to bed. And even if I'm going to be awake for a couple hours, even watching the TV up there, I don't eat up there. So it kind of breaks my brain from having late night snacks. And so I just did not want to start eating up there. I could tell that I felt I felt bad. And I told him, I was like, I feel bad. I know you set things up. I didn't know what else he had set up. He hadn't set up anything else. It's fine. He didn't get flowers. I didn't expect that. I just didn't know what else he had set up. He brought it down here and he set the blanket out on the floor and he said, you get to watch whatever you want to watch. I'll sit down here with you. Um, and he did. He watched his phone and I watched my reality TV, got caught up on a couple seasons or a couple episodes. Um, and it, that was great. And then we went to bed and the kids all went to bed early. It's all great. <laughs> He's just kind of a funny man. He just, he's very practical and he's very, um, he's just very practical. And well, this is my actual, like, it's not a Valentine gift. I, he cannot claim that this is a Valentine's gift. Either he thought of it on Valentine's day or our employee, our store manager thought to remind him to bring it home to me because he's probably mentioned it to her. Or three, they just came in stock because he ordered them for me and it just happened to be on Valentine's Day. <laughs> so I can see his thought process. I'm gonna show you. So when I first came down here, I saw this on the counter and I see shoe stuff here on the counter all the time. Like we own a shoe store, so obviously. But I saw this and I was like, Ufos, huh? Maybe he's mailing someone some Ufos, which again, happens quite often. He'll bring something home and he needs to mail it to a customer and it's just easier for him to go to the post office after he's at work and um, there's one close to our house. So I was like, all right, maybe he, someone just ordered some Ufos. Didn't think anything of it. Grabbed it to go throw it away. <laughs> And this is my size. I know this was intentional. I know he put these hearts here because they were not there last night. The hearts are from this little basket right here. So bless his heart. <laughs> he cannot claim that these are my Valentine's gift. I do want a new pair. This is for Hawaii and for the season. I wear through my Ufos. I wear them clear into the fall until my feet are freezing. And then I am already wearing my old pair. Where is my old one? It's over here somewhere. I have cold feet this morning, but I am already starting to wear them and it's still rainy and cold outside. So I use them for a large chunk of the year so they do wear out. So he got me a new pair. So well played. It's just funny to think that he thinks. I am gonna leave this tag here and just in case it actually isn't meant for me. I think he went through this mindset of like, take the tag off, set them, you know, tell me that they're here, they're for me, put them by the shoes or whatever. Then he thought, oh, well, I can I can put some hearts on it. Or did dad tell you to put the hearts on the shoes, Kaylee? Did dad tell you to, that he was gonna do these shoes or put hearts on it or whatever? He's trying to pretend like these are my Valentine gift. When he brings me shoes, I'll, I'll <laughs> like these are just for our trip. Yeah, and she's tired. Her back hurts. Do you work a seven-hour shift? Will you wear my hokas today? Yeah, I know they're big and they're bulky and they're blue and they're not the aesthetic you want But your feet will really appreciate it. The ibuprofen is back behind that um, allergy medicine. I'm just sitting in the car waiting for Ashley. I had um, potential plans today. Um, part of the reason why I got er ready earlier today, but those plans didn't f come to fruition, unfortunately. <laughs> It would have been fun, but they didn't come come into play. So I've been a little bored this afternoon. I did some computer work. I'm planning a talent show for church. 
So I did a little bit of that this morning. So I'm a little bored today. And because I kind of got ready this morning, I was gonna wait. If I had done my plans, I don't know what I would have done. But I wanted to go walking tonight and I had an hour and a half to go walking with Ashley going to her, her cheer tonight. And I had an hour afterward to get ready to go to an activity at church. But I think part of it was just like I was bored and I don't want the effort of like getting sweaty again. And I wouldn't redo my hair and makeup. But then, like, I don't know. I just didn't want the effort of like redoing getting ready, I guess. So I've just done nothing. <laughs> I literally have done nothing. But we did have a little bit of a scare with Abby this morning, like around 11 or so, and she came home from high school. I made her some pasta. She texted me, she's made me some pasta. I'm feeling really shaky, and I didn't know what that meant. But when she got home, one, she was hungry and needed to go off to go to her college class. But she came home and she said, Mommy, I'm, or not Mommy, she didn't say Mommy. She just said, Mom, I'm really shaky, and I don't know what's wrong. Part of that, part of why I had you making me food is because I think I'm hungry. Um, but I might have a fever. I feel like I'm getting a cold or something and I'm worried I have a fever, which worried me a ton. And so we had her check her temperature and I think our thermometer is like not working right because it was like 103 on her forehead, but only 99 in her ears and then it would switch. And so like it would show me at 99 on my, on my, in my ears, but 103 on my forehead. And I'm like, what, what when is it? Like, so even like from her to me, it was showing a fever and, and then not a fever. Got her some food, she took some cold medication and then and some ibuprofen. Um, and then she kind of realized while she was home after she kind of ate and she's like, Mm, I think I might have drank a Celsius drink too fast this morning. I think she slowly like sips on it, like leaves it in the car and sips on it going to school and then sips on it coming home from school. But she must have been hungry and thirsty when she went to school, so she downed the whole thing. <laughs> so I think she got a shot of caffeine on an empty stomach getting a cold. So I'm hoping that's all it is. She still is getting a cold, so I'm kind of keeping an eye on her tonight, today, even when I'm gone. I have, you know, these plans tonight, but I'm having Jason come home and keep an eye on her. I mean, she's old enough to like, know if she has a fever or not, but I have to make an emergency call to her surgeon with any possible fevers that she might be getting, and then we have to rush her to the ER, um, especially because she's like day seven now of being on antibiotic. That would be not a good thing if she were to get a fever at this point in the game. So I'm just, it makes me nervous, but also like it probably is just the caffeine boost. <laughs> um, but I do not like that she's even getting a cold, but I think a lot of things are in, in check and the antibiotic is in her system. So even if she does get a cold, she should be fine. So I'm just sitting here in the pickup line waiting to get Ashley. This is her last time having to get picked up from school. She's not doing this um, dance class next session. She wanted to kind of try it out. She did enjoy it. Um, the dance that she did was really, really fun. But as she does extra practices and prep for Japan, she knows she's going to be a little bit extra tired and the travel is going to make her extra tired. So she's taking this session off from this dance class and they don't have any other performances for it. So she can sign up for it again. Either I think they have one more spring session and then they are done. We'll see. I don't know. Answer, 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 answer. I will call. No, he needs to just answer his phone. He's probably on the phone with his brothers. He's on his way home. He's just sitting in his car. Trying to call Jason. We have Hi, a... this is Jason. Thanks Hang for up. calling. Call. Hang up. Now I have an ugly light on me. Answer your dang phone, Jace. I was on the phone with my dad. I know. Hang on one second. Um, hang on. Hello. Hi. Are you eating food? No, it's just one smoothie. Oh, all right. Abby isn't necessarily fighting me on this, but she's not convinced she has a fever. But every time she says she feels shaky and achy, and right now can't get out of bed, that says fever. That says I'm not feeling well. But she keeps claiming it's just because she's hungry. Sorry, I'm kind of in a panic mode um, to get home to her and just picked up Ashley from cheer. Um, I have a message into her surgeon, um, but then I called my dad and I said, if she has a fever, what do I do? I'm trusting the doctor. He told me to take her to the ER immediately and my dad said 100% she needs to get to the ER and they need to do blood cultures on what kind of bacterial infection she has because the antibiotics are likely not working. 
and you can't fix that any other way but then getting blood work done. So, it's not like she's fighting me and not wanting to go to the hospital, but she just says, I don't think I'll be fine if I can just get something to eat. So, we got her a smoothie, right, Ash? It's right down there. She wanted me to go to the store and get her bagels, and I just, I'm in a, a rush to like, just take care of her, not give her exactly what she wants to eat. So, anyway, if I feel, if I'm coming across kind of panicked, I am. So, it is what it is. Okay, we're at home. Abby is getting her shoes on. Convinced her that she doesn't feel good. So. a little bit about what happened so it's 10 o'clock we got home an hour ago um it took forever at the hospital um so i'll just give you a quick synopsis and what have you what's wrong what, everything that's wrong so um it was a little frustrating at first um because it didn't seem like they were too concerned with her having this fever and it being related to her mouth and the surgery and, and the other infection and blah, blah, blah. Well, actually, it felt like that the whole time I was there, I will say. When I talked to my dad earlier, he was kind of the one that kind of prompted me to like hurry and go to the ER kind of a thing because I didn't hear back from the surgeon, which is fine. I He had told me like, you need to go if she gets a fever. It's just that you always like call your... I call my dad, <laughs> even if, anyway. So I, he, he thought that they would do um, blood work and blood cultures to test for the bacterial infection. Um, when they didn't even like make that initial comment to do that at the hospital, I was a little concerned, but they did start with um, a COVID test and a strep test because they did see stuff like in the back of her throat that could have been strep. Strep test came right back as negative and it took an hour or more to get the, the other test back. I thought they would just had just done a COVID test, but the nose swab also tested for influenza A and influenza B, and that's what she has, influenza B, which is what caused a fever because it's just worse than regular flu, right? So it caused the fever, which is a good thing. Like I've never been glad that my kid is sick. <laughs> The influenza B is what caused the fever, not the infection. So that was a good sign and that led us to not need to, I was ready to like fight for blood work to get done, but it was the answer. The fever is not from infection. So she's gonna continue with the antibiotic. Our pharmacy is closed now, so I have to go get some Tamiflu for her in the morning, um, just so that she, the doctor said it'll only like shave a day or two off of her being sick and feeling bad. But if I can shave a day off, you know, for Abby, we'll do it. So we'll get that in the morning. She only has one more day of high school and then they have midwinter break next week. So that's good that she's only missing tomorrow at high school. She's up right now. Jason just took her some nighttime cold medicine just to get her through the night, but she is still working on one more project for probably what class is it for? It's gotta be, I don't know why it would be chemistry, but I guess it is, cause she's only in yearbook chemistry and uh, maybe she has a different class right now. Anyway, I don't know. Um, but she's working on one more paper right now and then she's gonna submit that and doesn't need to do anything else in school tomorrow. And she's already called out sick for her weekend shifts at work. Um, we were sticking around for forever waiting for a doctor's note cause her work requires that if you're gonna take, if you know ahead of time you're gonna take consecutive days off of work in order to, if you know you're gonna be sick and she needs to be away from people with the, with the diagnosis of the influenza B. And so we were waiting for this doctor's note and the nurse kept coming in and he was like, I'm so sorry, we're backed up. And I was like, can you just load it to my chart? And he was like, oh, I don't know if that'll work. And I'm like, what medical community do you work in that you can't upload a doctor's note to my chart? Anyway, and I was like, um, then I'm just gonna take this discharge paper as proof of influenza B and he's like yeah some people do 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 that and I was like so is the doctor really that busy that she can't just say Abby is sick she can't work and then print it out and he's like well yeah we are really really busy we're really backed up the doctor was on the phone I could see her <laughs> like 
can you just, anyway, I was like, Abby, just take a picture of the discharge papers and send it to your boss. And then she has, she does have class at um, her college next week, but I'm hoping today is Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm hoping she feels better on Monday and can just go to class and wear a mask, but she will have that discharge paper to turn into her professor just in case she needs to miss Monday or Tuesday next week. It'll just depend on how long um, it takes her to get feeling better. I, I just, I don't want sick anymore, but it did give us clear answers. I'm glad we went in and got that test result. Um, so that we just, answers are better than not. I just would have been scared all weekend that this fever and the fever would have come back. It's gonna come back. If she has influenza B, she's gonna get another fever. So that would have continued to worry me like all weekend long. And then she runs out of her antibiotic in like three days. So then like if she's still getting fevers in four days, like I would have just been panicked the whole time. So I'm glad we went. She is sick, it's not causing the infection. So we just need to get her feeling better and kind of separate her. She's already exposed the family, but we're just gonna kind of keep her in her room, um, cater to her cause she deserves it. And I'm going to bed. I'm in bed. <laughs> I'm going to bed. 10 o'clock. I didn't get to go to my party at church tonight, but that's okay. Jason offered to come and meet me at the hospital and switch places, but um, like it's the mama thing. Mama needs to be in the hospital. I don't know. It's a thing. So um, I know you guys are going to be thinking of Abby. Just give her your prayers or thoughts or whatever hugs from afar that she gets better from this. Um, and we don't have any more issues with infection in her mouth. Long day. Thank you for joining us and we will see you guys next time. Good night.